I'm just checking to see if I hear anybody. Oh, hello. Are you good in there? Why are you back there? Clearly, I can't go this way, so have fun. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is Dodgy, and today we are continuing with the series of Outlast. With that being said, guys, grab your snack, grab your beverage of choice, grab your stuffy, and let's get on with the show. We're just hopping right into it, guys. Like, there is no playing around. Big piggy man is on our cheeks. Um, I think we're safe at least right here, but we obviously can't stay here. There's, um, wait, was I over there before? I feel like I was over there. But anyways, there is a wall rider. Um, at least that's what the guys over here was uh, screaming out before they uh, appeared to have met their demise. So. Uh, admin block. What are we supposed to do again? Uh, oh, and I forgot I had I had notes. So let me read those real quick. All right, Walker. Yeah, I thought his name was Walker. I don't know if I said Walter or Walker, but it's Chris Walker. That's the guy that's been chasing us. I can't shake Chris Walker, the big ugly foos who likes okay, who likes ripping off people's heads. I heard him muttering about security protocols, containment. What if he's not the problem? What if he's trying to fix it? He's still trying to kill me. So even if he is trying to fix the problem, he's doing a terrible job because he's not resolving the actual problem. He's just murdering everybody that comes in contact with him. Almost everybody. Wall Rider. The word Wall Rider is all over the place. Murkoff was running an experiment here called Project Wall Rider. But the patients talk about the Wall Rider like it's a physical presence, a spirit or demon. Something they found in the mountain. I chalk it up to schizophrenic delusion, but I just saw something. I did see that shadow, which is kind of weird. I don't know if it was caught on the camera, but I did see it. I'm going to have to watch the playback. <laughs> maybe, maybe it was a glitch in the camera. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking like, was it really there or was it a glitch in the camera? Or maybe this place is getting to me. Can I? Oh, let me check my other one. Oh, God. I didn't, I didn't get through, like, three documents I didn't read. Ugh, okay. Please find attached copy of the death certificate of Rudolf G. Warnicke, Merck-Off Psychiatric System. This case number 148616. No surviving family members. Interesting. State of Colorado. All right, so note to self, don't ever go to Colorado. Seven months? He only stayed there for seven months before he died. Date of birth, October 20th, 1918. Place of birth, Germany. No surprise there. <laughs> Date of death, February 28th, 2009. I hereby certify that I attended decease from June 4th, 2003 to February 28th, 2009 that I saw him alive on February 27th, 2009, that death occurred on the date stated above at 4.11 a.m. The principal cause of death and related cause of importance were as follows. Heart failure due to advanced age. This is to certify that this is a true and correct copy of the official records. I don't think he died of a heart attack. Here's his obituary, obituary form. Dr. Rudolph G. Warnicke, age 90, passed away doing the work he loved on February 28th, 2009. He was born in 1918 in Mun Munich, Munich, Germany. I'm not familiar, guys, so I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Um, and achieving fame in the mathematics and scientific communities for a paper written early computing pioneer Alan Turing. 
After a cloudy history with the German war efforts, of course it would be cloudy, wouldn't it? He immigrated to the United States in 1949 with a visa for the State Department. Several decades in government research in Los Alamos led to New Mexico, where Dr. Warnicke retired to pursue landscaping, photography, and care for his cats. He came to Colorado shortly after the turn of the millennial to pursue charitable work for the Murkoff Corporation. A statement from the company called Dr. Warnicke, a true humanitarian with a generous spirit, he leaves no survivors. The Gospel of Sand. This is the last one, I promise. At least for now, we'll see. <laughs> Found scrawled in pencil on the back of an admittance form. Handwriting matches samples from patient father Martin Archibob? Archibob? Archimobob? Mm -mm. This God is real. What we've mistaken so long for ghosts spirits, madness. We were only willfully ignorant. The scales on Saul's eyes were fear, and when you see beyond it, you truly see. This is the gift of the wall rider, the gospel of sand. The greatest sin in this world is willful ignorance of God. To receive a revelation and not spread it to the waiting flock this place to stand in the way of salvation is a sin for which there is no punishment too great father be drinking a little bit too much of that kool-aid all right all that being said hopefully all right this is another long hallway but hopefully, nobody is here. Ooh. Hello? Father? Father? Father, wait! I don't... I, I don't know if you want me to follow you. But if you wanted me to follow you, uh, maybe find a path where I can actually go to. Hi. You don't have to be scared of me. I can tell we're the same. You still know what's real. The doctor's dead. You know that, right? Yeah. American. It died before he even started working here. What kind of experiments does a dead doctor perform on living patients? That's the question. That's a that's a very good question, actually. Um, have no fear, citizen. Dodgy is here to save the day, I guess. All right, well, if you're not going to hurt me, I'm going to go over here. Is there anything? I don't see anything. There's nothing important. Oh, that is a lot of blood. Oh! oh, my God. Where did you come from? What is up there? Oh, okay. Okay, so there's that way. Let's, um, see if there's anything else. Let's see. Male ward. Female ward. Oh, okay. Never mind. I was on the right path. Ew! Ew! This place is nasty. I'm gonna get some hepatitis being in here. Hopefully I don't have any open wounds. Oh, oh, what was that? What was that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Uh... 
Okay. Oh, that's that's fun. Okay. Guess I'm guess I'm going in here. It is dark. Very dark. Um Okay. I don't want to use my batteries. Okay, can't go that way. I'm trying so hard. <laughs> it's okay. We're okay. This is fine. Look, we're safe. We're good. We're Gucci. It's all right. There's nothing in here. Nothing. We're good. I'm just checking to see if I hear anybody. Oh, hello. Are you good in there? Why are you back there? Clearly, I can't go this way, so... Have fun. Let's try this door. It is dark. Wow. Okay. There's a battery. Is that a battery? It looks like a battery. I can't see. Okay. All right. So there's a battery down there. All right. I need that battery. Can I hop? I can't hop. Grab that battery. Grab it, grab it. Okay. Alright, his breathing is getting intense. I don't like that. Where am I going? Where am I going? I don't like I don't like this water. Um, I don't like being here. God, I can't see for nothing. All right, so I came, I think I came from here. Oh God, oh God, oh God, okay. Uh, battery is dying. Um, hello? Oh god, uh, should I... Okay, 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 okay. Um, trying to find, is there like a hole? Okay, I think... I think I want to go there, so. Right. Oh! Okay. Right, there's a hole over there, but there's also this? Oh my god, I can't see. Okay, fine. Uh, I give in. Okay, okay. Um... Hello? Can I have that? Thank you. I'll read that later. Wait, there's nothing over here. All that for a battery. Okay, well, at least we have an extra battery. It's hard to see. Just kind of follow where the light is. Alright. Okay.
Oh god. I hear him. I hear him. How do you, I can't see him, but I can hear him. And I don't like that. Oh, there is a ladder. There is a ladder. There is a ladder. There's a ladder. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, be very safe and secure. Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't know where he was. I don't know where he was. I don't. I don't. I don't know where he was. But that's okay. It is totally fine. Because I snuck past him. Okay. It's gonna be fine. Hi. You okay? You look about as stressed out as I feel. Okay. I'm gonna leave you be. Mail ward. Oh, uh, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, fudge. Okay, okay. It's all right. Okay. Not sure where I'm going. Okay. We're okay. We're fine. There's, there's just a bunch of crazy people running around in this facility. Like, this is normal, right? This is normal. This is completely normal. People half-dressed running through the sewers. Totally normal. Natural. This is good. This is fine. There's no need... There's no need to panic. None. None whatsoever. We are doing great. Okay. So I can't go back. Good to know. That's fantastic. That's like the entire staff. Guess we're going to the mail ward. New objection. Reach the ground floor of the mail ward. So that is all the time I have for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed, and I will see you again in the next one. I love you. Don't forget your boobs. Boop. If it's good for the goose, it's good for the gander, right?